All right, so in review today is my newly bought um, used scooter, a Yamaha Majesty 250. Um, it's a vintage model, year 1998. And uh, um, I bought this from a, an, uh, a local owner and um, I think he had it for a very short amount of time. And the previous owner probably owned this longer than him. Um, there are a few modifications to this bike because of its age and um, so to start with um, the uh, water temperature sensor doesn't work so the fan is actually hardwired um, the radiator fan is actually hardwired to uh, the battery so every time if I turn on the key you can hear the fan just starts running so, I mean, no big deal, as long as the radiator works. And, uh, of course, because of its age, the LCD screen doesn't work. Of course, those buttons doesn't work. But, surprisingly, everything else works. Um, of course, the brake caliper, it looks like it's in aftermarket. And it's a little bit sluggish um, to start with. So, those um, probably have to be replaced very soon. Um, the left brake lever works just fine it's very um, responsive so that's good looks looks like original mirrors um, yeah it, it does look like original mirror and uh, of course the storage space um, because this is an older scooter so the storage space is quite limited compared to the recent upgrades to the um, the majesty um, so this is a 250 CC um, liquid cooled engine and if I just push the key the trunk opens and as you can see it can probably fit one full-size helmet and that's about it and I don't see any helmet lock um, anywhere on the exterior so if you're riding with a partner uh, one helmet probably have to you probably have to find a way to secure the other helmet or maybe just bring it uh, the seat is very comfortable. It's for the uh, drivers. You got a, a nice padding in the rear. Um, and when I first bought this bike, it actually um, does not run properly. Um, the rectifier for charging the battery properly, it's fried. So um, the the owner from where I bought it, he said, "Oh, the, the bike works just fine. Um, it just doesn't look good, but." In reality, no, like something's broke. So when I opened the when I opened the flapper and I saw the battery, the original battery, it was really busted. It's like um, there are bubbles inside, so it needs serious replacement. And so I traced it down to the rectifier because I used as the multimeter to measure the voltage, and the voltage was at a crazy 15, 16 volts. So I know. Excuse me, I know definitely something's wrong and I traced it to rectifier and interestingly uh, when I bought the bike and I opened the storage um, in here there was actually a replacement rectifier in here so um, I proceeded to replace that rectifier and get a new battery so now the bike runs almost perfect um, and one thing I couldn't fix myself is the previous welding job for this muffler. It's um, it's a two-piece muffler, and I think they did some fix over here. Um, and the welding is really horrible, so there's a few leaks around here. Not something major, but it might affect the performance of the bike a little bit. I mean, I, I don't feel much difference because um, I test rode a Yamaha Vino 125 a while back and this thing is definitely have a lot more power than the Vena 125 and um, uh, of course the bike seems to have previously been you know wrecked maybe laid down before because there are some scratches on both sides and uh, a lot of original screws are gone so I went ahead and just replaced it with uh, aftermarket like uh, home improvement store screws and so far they're working just fine um, as I said everything else works um, 
So let's start the bike and, and try to hear the sound. The bike also starts almost instantly. A proper air filter so I just bought an air filter and put it in and for this air filter you have to soak it in the oil so of course as you can see the oil is dripping down from the filter and uh, it should be normal I just need to wipe it down I probably put a little bit too much oil and uh, the rear suspension appear to also be in good working order there are not much rust um, actually, there are not much rust in... Maybe just regular rust from the age, but uh, it has been aged quite well. So I know this is an import model, because if you uh, take a look at the speedometer, it's uh, kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. So I know this is an import. Um, and when I had to sign up for the insurance, uh, the insurance company actually couldn't find this bike in the database, so are, they have to manually. Okay. They have to manually enter the data for this bike. And of course the storage space, which I just showed you, and the handlebar, grab this rail is actually metal and most other parts that you see on the exterior is plastic it's very easy to take off basically you take off um, this panel first and then sorry you take off this panel first and then you take off this panel and then the two fairings can become can come off and then you can take off this part the whole piece and just piece by piece you can really quickly take down this bike's exterior to uh, work on the interior parts and um, serviceability I would say is very good because you can fairly quickly access all the parts that you need to um, work on. And uh, um, I inspected the belt, the belt is in pretty good condition as well. So this bike is at this current stage is ready to ride. Um, I'm very happy to be able to find this deal on Craigslist and uh, I'll make sure to enjoy riding this bike a lot more. So the storage space in the front, there are some inner pockets over here and on this area it's actually coolant down here so um, you can still put some stuff in here if you like but I, I would probably just leave it there. Um, and of course your gasoline is right under your seat, um, it's locked with a key so you need the original key to actually open the gas tank. And uh, uh, here's the extra storage space. It's just a, a small utility box down here. And uh, I locked it, so let me take it out. Guys, a look. Because I haven't seen any Majesty videos um, on the YouTube. Um, so here's my license and stuff. But here's a deep pocket for you to put more stuff in. Um, I haven't seen any high quality or high resolution 
YouTube videos for the Majesty 250. Mostly it's the Majesty uh, 400. I think that's that's actually the um, the actual US model of this bike. Um, but I would have to say the 250 is actually very capable. Um, I drive it. I think the fastest I've ever gone was probably 50 miles per hour. I haven't tried anything faster because I don't actually ride this on highway. Um, I used to ride a Yamaha V-Star 650 um, and I think even for a 650 it's a little bit underpowered on the highway. So this one 250 definitely probably gonna be underpowered so I'm not, I'm not risking it. And this is just for local driving around. Um, sometimes I take my wife out to um, short trips you know around the park and stuff and this thing is definitely very very capable and you don't you don't actually see a lot of those around in Miami area most you see is like a little 50 cc scooters um, and maybe the the Vino 125 so a scooter a maxi scooter that's what they call it is definitely a rare breed in Miami area and uh, if you guys have any questions about this scooter feel free to um, ask me any questions and I'd be happy to answer for you guys and of course this windshield is actually a aftermarket windshield and it's made in it looks like it's made in EU um, so I would think this is a import model from European Union or countries around there and let's see the front suspension seems to be in good working condition. The boot is a little bit worn, so probably have to be replaced um, fairly soon. And uh, I've actually ordered quite a few replacement parts just in case this bike breaks down because you don't you don't see a lot of listings. Um, oops. So over here, I didn't install it properly, so just gonna lock in, and now it locks. That's good. Um, yeah, this bike is very easy to tear down, very easy to service, and uh, the engine is very strong. Um, good Japanese build quality, so nothing more to ask of. And uh, as I said, if you guys have any more questions, just feel free to ask me. I'd be happy to answer for you guys. Otherwise, enjoy and have a good day.